For your cheapest and most reliable place to buy your FC24 coins, check out mmoexp.com. Link is down in the description below. Use the code WOLF at a checkout for 5% off your order. Yes then, YouTube, my full set of 20-0 custom tactics dropping for you on the Thursday so you can use them all weekend league. To start things off, I'm going to show you my ultra-defensive 4-2-3-1 second variation. I only switch into this when I'm seen at a lead, but you can switch into it in minute one if you want to, hence why it is my ultra-defensive. So, balanced on the defensive style, 45 on the defensive width with 60 depth. Remember, I only use this to see out a lead, but you can use it from minute one if you want to as well. Balance and direct passing on the offensive builder playing chance creation. You should know it by now, YouTube. Your absolute bread and butter. 43 on the offensive width. We do still want to carry and attack it, a counter attacking threat in the transition, even though this is to see out a lead. Seven players in the box, two corners, and two free kicks like so. Player instructions, stay central and get in behind on my striker. My cam, well, my middle cam is then only on getting to the box for cross. That is it. My left midfielder and my right midfielder are on exactly the same thing. So that is come back on defence, cut inside, get in behind and get into the box for cross. And you'll see my right midfielder is on exactly the same. Come back on defence, cut inside, get in behind and get into the box for cross. My right CDM is then on stay back while attacking and cover centre. My left CDM is then on get forward and cover centre, just to try and still give us that counter-attacking threat as well. Both my left back and my right back are on stay back while attacking. I do not count, I do not attack with them at all. And then last but not least, my goalkeeper is on comes for crosses and sweeper keeper. So that's my ultra defensive. I mainly switch up into my defensive 4-3-2-1 straight away. So as soon as the game kicks off YouTube, I switch up into my defensive 4-3-2-1. Even though it's not defensive, it is quite attacking. It's just what I have on my defensive custom tactics. So, balanced on the defensive style. 45 on the defensive width with 60 depth. If 60 depth is a little bit too high for you because this is my main custom tactic that I use, I would recommend lowering it down to 55. You won't notice too much of a difference, but you probably will concede less goals from that 60 to 55. Really, really, really good. I just much prefer 60 to YouTube. That's what I like. The offense is builder playing chance creation. You know what it is by now, YouTube. Of course, balanced and direct passing. I like to call it your bread and butter, YouTube. So, 43 again on the offensive width. I do like to go quite narrow with my 4-3-2-1. I like my left centre forward and my right centre forward to be quite close to my striker. I really, really, really like that. I feel like that's a really good happy medium G spot. I, I don't like it when they're too far wide because you will see what I have on my player instructions. I get the width from one of my fullbacks anyway. So I kind of want both my left centre forward and my right centre forward to be close to my striker, giving us more passing lanes and passing options. Seven players in the box. More players that we have in the box YouTube, of course, the more likely we are to score a goal. Two corners and two free kicks. Now, the player instructions on the 4-3-2-1 have not really changed ever since last year, really, with the 4-3-2-1. It's kind of followed a very strict set of player instructions, really. So, my striker and my right centre forward are both on stay central and getting behind. I don't want my striker or my right centre forward venturing out wide. I don't really feel like that helps the 4-3-2-1 at all. I then have my left centre forward on comeback on defence. So when we don't have the ball, when we yeah, when we don't have the ball, sorry, my left centre forward will tuck into that left midfield of a 4-4-2. But then when we get the ball, he will push straight back up into that left centre forward position. My left centre mid is then on getting to the box for cross and cover centre. Very, very, very important. And balanced attack as well. So my left centre midfielder will get forward quite a bit. My middle centre mid is then on stay back while attacking. And cover centre. So my middle central midfielder is exactly like that Rodri or the Bubakar Kamara role. He will not move from that middle of that pitch. He will get the ball and give it the, give the ball to the better players that we have. The right centre mid, completely default settings, including cover wing. So remember, when my Griezmann tucks into that left midfield of a 4-4-2, my Awobi, my right centre mid, will tuck ever so slightly out wide to that right midfield. But then when we get the ball, Griezmann pushes straight back up to the left forward position and Awobi tucks into that right centre mid position. I then don't play with my right back on join the attack and overlap. So my right back is on stay back while attacking. Both my centre backs 
completely default settings. And then my left back is the one that is on during the attack and overlap. So my left back is the one that we'll be bombing on. And then again, comes for crosses and sweeper keeper. So that's the main formation I use. If I am struggling to create anything in the 4-3-2-1, I will switch up into my attacking custom tactics, which is the 4-4-2. Pretty self-explanatory. I won't go into too much detail with this because I don't really use it that much. Only in some games where I feel like I'm not creating a lot in the 4-3-2 one. That's when I will then switch up into it. Balanced on the defensive style. 45 on the defensive width with 57 depth. I don't go all the way up to 60 in the 4-4-2 because I don't feel like it is good enough defensively to be using it like that. Balanced and direct passing, of course, your absolute bread and butter YouTube. You should know that by now. 47 on the offensive width. I do like to go a little bit more narrow. Seven players in the box, two corners and two free kicks like so. Player instructions. Both my strikers are on exactly the same thing. So stay central, get in behind. And come back on defence. The comeback on defence is very, very, very important in my opinion. It just means that we have better passing lanes and passing options when our central midfielders get the ball. And our strikers aren't always running away from our central midfielders. Left midfielder and the right midfielder are run exactly the same thing. So come back on defence. Cut inside. Get in behind. And then, of course, get into the box for cross. To get into the box for cross, very, very, very important. Just gives us more of that attacking outlet. And the right midfielder, once again is on exactly the same thing. So come back on defence, cut inside, get in behind and get into the box for cross. Right central midfielder is the one that is on stay back while attacking and cover centre. Kind of like my 4-2-3-1 that I use as well. Left centre mid, exactly the same as the 4-2-3-1 as well. Get into the box for cross and cover centre. So my left centre mid will be the one that is venturing forward and helping out in the attacks. Left back and my right back are both on stay back while attacking. I don't attack with my left back and my right back when I'm using the 4-4-2. Both my centre-backs, completely default settings. Again, stay back while attacking. And then my goalkeeper is then on comes to crosses and super keeper. So they're the main three. I then have my ultra attacking 3-4-2-1. I only switch into this YouTube when I'm chasing a lead. So the last 10, 15 minutes of the game, if that. Constant pressure, 45 width, 100 depth. Balanced and direct passing. 50 on the width as well. Max players in the box. Max corners and max free kicks. Because remember, we are chasing a lead at this point. We are trying desperately to get a goal. That's when you switch up into this. Player instructions. All three of the forwards are on exactly the same thing. So stay central, get in behind and stay forward. That is all three of my forwards, including my striker. Left midfielder and the right midfielder are on the same. So stay wide, get in behind and get into the box for cross. And that is the same as my right midfielder. Stay wide, get in behind, get into the box for cross. Both my central midfielders are just on getting to the box for cross and cover centre, and that is it. And then last but not least, all three of my centre-backs stay back while attacking with my goalkeeper, comes for crosses and super keeper. And that right there is my brand new updated full set of custom tactics for you to use this weekend league. If you didn't enjoy this video, YouTube, you know the drill. Drop it a like, drop a comment down below, and if you can hit that subscribe button to my channel, that would mean the world to me. Thank you for watching. Remember, spread the love and positivity. PMA Positive Man Latitude. Peace out. One love.